All right, another dreaded example for 19.2, right? Well, I'm going to find my paper version of this just to make sure I'm not telling you something different from what's there. Okay, so uh, remember our first step is to um, break, reduce the circuit until it's solvable. So let's look at this. I think a lot of places we can start. I'm going to start here in the heart of the heart of America. That's 3. 2 plus 1 in series is 3. And then the 3 and the 6 are parallel. I should be able to do that in my head, but I'm, I'm, I'm 3 to the minus 1 plus 6 to the minus 1 to the minus 1. All right, here we go. 3 to the minus 1 plus 6 to the minus 1 to the minus 1 is, of course, 2. <laughs> How is that 2? Oh, I get why, because that would be 2 sixths and 1 sixth. Right, and then, uh, yeah, six over three is two. Okay, wow, I did that with a calculator. Okay, and then um, <clears throat> four plus two is, because this is, it goes through this, then through this, right? Four plus two is six. Six ohms. And then let's see, six plus eight plus nine is 23. Is it? Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Let's try it. <laughs> no, 24, 24, 24, <laughs> six. Better do this in my calculator. Don't laugh at me. 24, of course, it's 24. All right, so now we got 24 ohms here, six ohms here, and we can put those guys in parallel, right? Okay, so that's going to be... 6 to the minus 1 plus 24 to the minus 1. I'm afraid that that's going to come out even too, so let's just try it. 6 to the minus 1 plus 24 to the minus 1. 4.8. I like this circuit. Not a lot of numbers to mess around with. All right, now it's a solvable circuit. We just got to picture this in our brain. It's a 26 volt uh, voltage source, right? 5 volts or 5 ohms, 4.8 ohms and 3 ohms, right? So our our A1 our current here, right? is V over R, right? is 26 divided by uh, 5 plus 4.8 plus 3. So 26 divided by parentheses Five plus four point eight plus three is two point zero three one two five. All right, let's see. Did I get that? Yes, I did. All right, I'm on the right track. Okay, again, on the assessment, I'm going to give you a one. I'm going to just write it down with three sig figs. Uh, if you get your answer and you round it to three sig figs and you don't get that, um, there's really no point in spending 20 minutes, you know, analyzing the rest of the circuit. You're not going to get a single thing right. Okay. Um, okay. So let's find V1. V1, we're going to find V1. V1 is IR. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be this current, right? Which is goes through the five, goes through... This mess, we understand that it's more than one resistor, but for the purposes of V1, right, it's just one resistor. It's a 4.8 ohm resistor, right? So it's going to be that current, 2.03125 times 4.8, which happens to be this the resistance of from here to there, okay? So times 4.8 is 9.75. I love that. All right, look at that. Yes, all right. Now, let's see. Now that voltage is the voltage on this side of the circuit, right? It's the voltage pushing current through the seven, the eight, and the nine. So let's find the current through the seven. I can do that, right? That's just simply gonna be I is V over R is 9.75 because if you look at the circuit that voltage you pretend that's thing that is, a, is like a, a cell a source right 
okay? And it's over this whole side there, right? Which is, that adds up to 24. So the seven ohm is that divided by 24. 0 0.40625. Okay, and that is the seven. Oh, yeah, there we go. Got that one, right? Okay, so now let's see. What else can we pick off? I think we want the current through the four ohm. That's the next one that's cool. Oh, V3. We can find V3. V3 is IR. Right, so then the current here is uh, that current we just figured out, the 0.40625. And then V3 uh, goes here to here. And so we get an eight and a nine, right? Okay, so times 17. I get 6.90625. This is not a crucial. That is our V3. Okay, good enough. We got the current through the seven. Now let's find the current through the four. This guy will be crucial, okay? The current through the four ohm is this voltage, right? This voltage is across this. Remember, this is a six ohm resistor. All of this mess inside this circle is a six ohm resistor, right? Okay, so the current on the four ohm is gonna be V1, this guy here, the 9.75. 9.75 volts divided by 6, which is this resistance. Since it came out even, it just comes out even to 6, but, but you know, usually that's like some nasty little decimal or something like that. So 9.75 divided by 6 is 1.625. And that is our current through the 4 ohm. It's also, by the way, the crucial... Um, Oh, it's also the crucial. Not getting that. Okay, something else is on that piece of paper there. So what am I messing up? I'm not. I think there's a mistake on the piece of paper. Okay. Hmm. Which means that all the rest of the things on the paper are going to be wrong. But I'm going to go with the fact that I think I'm right. Okay, I'm just going to double check here. Let's go uh, 3 to the minus 1 plus 6 to the minus 1. That is indeed 2 plus 4. Okay, and V1 definitely says 9.75, and 9.75 divided by 6 is 1.625. Okay, so uh, I'm looking at the answer sheet I gave you, and I'm just going to apologize because on the current for the four ohm says 2.03125. That's not correct. 1.625 is correct. All right. Okay. So um, anyway, let's just keep going. Stiff upper lip. All right. So uh, let's find the current. We now know that that is, uh, let's find this voltage here. Let's find V2. Okay. So V2 is IR, right? And that's going to be the current that we just figured out, right? We figured out that the current down here is 1.625. It's 1.625, okay, times, uh, whoops, <laughs> that's just a five, right? Uh, times this resistance here, which is all of this resistance is two. Okay, so times two. So V3 is, is uh, yeah, it's not 6.90625, it's 3.25, okay, or V2, V2 is 3.25. All right, so therefore the current through the, um, the current through the 2 ohm is going to be, is just V over R. Right, so it's uh, 3.25 divided by, and then it's 2 plus 1, right? This would be the current for the, the 1 ohm and the 2 ohm, right? So divide that by 3. 
Kind of get 1.0833. There we go. And then the current through the 6 ohm. is just going to be V over R. And so that's going to be, uh, let's see this, the voltage is still the V2, right? Okay, so that was V2 is 3.25. And that's pushing current also through the six ohm, right? So divide by six, 3.25 divided by six. And that's 0.5416666. Sixes. There we go. All righty, all righty. Um, there it is. And and if you're looking at the, I may have handed these out. Okay, I do believe that everything past V three and uh, on is fraud. Fraud. All right. Good enough. Uh, over and out.